You may think that creating long nails is hard, but I beg to differ. Now, I'm not saying long nails aren't necessarily easy either. When you are creating long nails, you have a greater surface area to move through, you have more space to comfortably swing your brush across, and literally a bigger vision of whatever you're going to do as far as your final look is concerned. And I've also noticed that when working on long nails, if you mess up at the cuticle area or if you happen to not be as meticulous there, because the rest of the nail is so long it distracts away from any errors sometimes at least either way whether you think long nails or short nails are hard we can definitely agree that both require technique and in today's video i'm going to show you how to create an apex on short nails let's begin Hey there, welcome back. My name is Paola of paolaponsanails.com, your source for soft gel nail education and solopreneurship in the nail industry. First, let's assess how short of a nail we are talking about. Nail length is relative to a person's own fingernails, the longest length on a client, whether extension or natural nail, is when the free edge extends out to twice as long of the amount that is actually attached to the nail bed. We'll call this max length of the free edge. So we're going to classify a short nail as anything shorter than half the max length of the free edge. The biggest difference I have found when structuring an apex on short nails versus doing so on long nails is that your apex actually does not have to lay right on or right before the smile line and that is because there is less free edge length than the body of the nails so what we really are balancing is the growth of those nails in other words we are anticipating and protecting the growth of these nails within the next 10 to 21 days for this reason our apex can be placed up to the cuticle area of the nails whether you leave it there or not is up to the shape of the nails you go for for short square nails, yes, keep it up there as much as possible, but for everything else, feel free to drag it down just a bit away from the cuticle area. Now let's go step by step. Step one, make sure to give the nails a thorough prep. Any dust particles or loose cuticle will definitely pull the gel towards it. And if not cleaned up prior to curing, this application will lift my friend. Step two, apply a wet layer of gel. A wet layer is often referred to as a slip layer, and this is a layer of gel that is left uncured because we are immediately going to follow with another bead of gel to structure the nail. Step three, after applying your wet layer of gel, grab enough gel on your brush to cause self-leveling in your application. In other words, if you don't grab enough gel on your brush, your gel will not self-level enough to create a smooth nail surface. If that does happen to you, no worries, you can come back and grab more gel. But you do really want to get it right the first time for time efficiency in your nail services. Step four, place that bead at the cuticle area. Allow it to take shape a bit or help it by pressing it in a bit. Then guide it down because the gel I'm using here is of thin viscosity. You need to guide it only a little bit before it starts taking shape on its own. And step five, allow it to self-level, but just a little bit. We all love the magic of self-leveling gel, but when working on short nails, make sure the bulk does not fully pass the center of the nail. This is the biggest difference with creating an apex on short nails versus creating one on long nails. You may choose to work one nail, two nails, four nails, or if you're super comfortable, all five nails, not to toot my own horn over here, but in the salon, I self-level all five at the same time when working on short nails. Yes, there is a little trick to do with the thumb so that it self-levels at the same pace as all of the other nails, but what is even more important, in my opinion, is that all nails have relatively the same amount of product so that they all self-level at the same time. Otherwise, everything will be self-leveling very differently and causing all sorts of scary situations. And there you have it, your five easy steps to shape a natural apex on short nails. Before you go, if you're interested in the topic of starting a press house business, please sign up for our free live class this week, Wednesday. I have celebrity manicurist Julie Candelic answer a few questions 
details about her world in that niche and also press on while being on set. You'll want to be on live as all live attendees will have the opportunity to work with me inside my newest course and even receive a complimentary copy of Julie's nail art design book. If you want more details on how to be part of this opportunity, do sign up ASAP as there is limited openings for this event. Hope to catch you next week again and bye for now. Thank you.